everyone, it's Abby. Somehow after making my corset hoodie and my sweatpants, I still had sweatshirt material left over. So I wanted to find another project to make with it. So what did I come up with? A sweatshirt. And not just any old sweatshirt, but one with the design on the front, of course. <laughs> Going with the green and pink Sailor Jupiter theme, I decided a rose applique sounded like a good idea on the front. I'm using the same free pattern for mood that I used for the sweatpants, so I printed and cut it out ahead of time. So let's get sewing! I'm using the free hickory ensemble pattern for mood for my sweatshirt, the same pattern I used for my sweatpants previously. I folded the green fabric along both edges to the center so I had two fold edges on each side. I pinned the front and back pattern pieces to the fold edges on both sides. I cut my front and back pieces out. I pin the sleeve pattern to doubled fabric. I cut the sleeves out with two extra inches of length. I fold the ribbed knit so I had four layers and cut the top and bottom. I wanted to see if the bottom cuff would work with just the width of the tubular knit and no seams. I pin the collar to the fold of the doubled rib knit. I don't like the tapers on the cuffs, but I like the height, so I'm going to use my Gordonia hoodie cuff pattern for the width and the hickory cuff for the height. I pin them in place. I cut the collar and the cuffs out. I cut out some pieces of tracing paper to create my applique. I freehand draw a stencil of a large rose on my tracing paper using an example picture on my phone. I retrace the lines to make them darker and easier to follow. I create two leaves that I will be adding as well.
I place a pin at the center front of my front piece so I can line up my rose stencil. I place the pink fabric down first and lay the tracing paper over the top. I pin that in place through the three layers. My sewing machine has darker pink thread and I tested a piece to set up the width and depth of my zigzag applique stitch. I machine applique the stencil rows along all the pencil lines. I need to remove all the tracing paper first, and I cut away any loose threads. I rip the paper away from all the edges carefully. I trim the pink fabric away right along the edge of the applique stitches. This takes a lot of time and some tight corners. I got the rose done, so now I wanted to add the two leaves to it. I pinned some bright green fabric in two spots with a traced leaf shape already on the fabric. I machine applique the leaves on with a darker green thread. I search the edges of all my pattern pieces.
I pin and machine sew the diagonals of the raglan sleeves where the sleeve meets the bodice on all sides. I flatten those seams and top stitch along both edges. I pin the sleeve and side seams together along the edges, right sides to right sides. I machine sew the sleeve and the side seams up. I serge that seam. I pin and machine sew the cuff and collar seams up. I tried the sweatshirt on off camera. The neck hole was a bit tight, so I trim off a half inch around the whole neck. I fold the cuff in half and pin mark the four sides. I stretch and pin the cuff to the sleeve. I fold the collar in half and mark the corners as well. I pin the collar to the neck hole of the sweatshirt, stretching to fit. I fold the bottom cuff in half and pin marked the sides and centers on both of the bottom cuff and the bottom of the sweatshirt. I pin the bottom cuff to the bottom of the sweatshirt.
I machine sew the sleeve cuff on from the inside. I machine sew the collar on from the inside. I machine sew the bottom cuff on. I tried this on off camera and the bottom cuff was just too big. So I seam ripped the cuff off to start again. I fold and machine sew the bottom cuff smaller and cut off the excess. I pinned the cuff on again, stretching the fit and machine sew the whole thing again. I surged the bottom cuff seam. I surged the collar seam. I surged the sleeve cuff seams. I top stitch the sleeve cuff seams from the inside. I top stitch the collar seam. I top stitch the bottom cuff as well. And there we go. A completed green sweatshirt with a rose applique on the front.
Thank you for joining me today as I made a matching green sweatshirt with a giant rose on the front. I love the subtle Sailor Jupiter vibes. This sweatshirt will go great with the sweatpants I made previously or a pair of jeans. This is super warm and comfy. I was wearing it a lot until the weather warmed up and I know I'll be wearing it a lot more when it cools down again. If you liked this video and want to see more sewing and costume videos, remember to subscribe to my channel. If you have any questions, let me know in the comments below. Happy sewing! Oh, hello. Oh, there's one. Hi, Bean. You want up here too? Come here. Oh, there we go, there we go. Hello. Yes, hello. You want to sit? Here we go. There we go. Oh dear. Come here, Bean. Come here. Come here. Come here. Oh, holy hell. All right, Bean. Mom got to do her film.